All I need to say is, tidy butt. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Grand Zero Podcast, my friend. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for having me. It's, uh, you're popping my podcast, Charity Butt. First one I've done, it says. You know what? That's two podcast virgins I've had in, in consecutive days. <laughs> <laughs> the guy oh, I had last thing. night was a podcast virgin as well. Is, is that a the... coffee, not a whiskey, is it? Oh, it mate, it's... 10 in the morning, I've got the kids running around in there. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit early, but then not it? <laughs> I could. She wouldn't know. I could put a bit of whiskey in the cot, have an Irish coffee, couldn't I? You know what I mean? That's it. Have a sneaky, have a sneaky one, there. <laughs> have a little sneaky one. She'll be like, can you drive later? No. Why not? Hammered. <laughs> uh, not feeling too good. Yeah, let me just quickly turn me um, heat up. I've been off in here now. There we go. Right. Happy days, happy days. So how's it going in? You all good? Yeah, all good, but all good. What I like to hear. It's, uh, pissing weather. You just got to get on with it, don't we? I suppose we're. Uh, it's not a lot we can. Do. It's not a lot we can do at the moment, is it? Well, uh, you you guys over and where you're like proper lockdown, aren't you now? Again. Yeah, we are, but I. Uh, That's fucking. Yeah, it's an absolute mate. nightmare, but I suppose. <laughs> to be honest, but it's. Um, if they locked us down initially and kept us locked down, I think people would have took it a bit better, but. Yeah, it's like they've given you a fucking bite of cake and then they taking it back off you. Yeah, like, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it, it, we started get we st- started getting back into routines and I don't know, we started getting back to joining sports and that type of stuff again. Gym started opening and all that stuff, and then um, all of a sudden they taking it back off us again. So, uh, mad, isn't it? That's certainly not it's certainly not helping at the moment. That's for sure. No, and. The funny thing is, so obviously Wales, Northern Ireland, Scotland, they sort of just went, right, You got, we're in lockdown. Just deal with it yeah. and we'll get it done. Uh, in England, it's like, we might do a lockdown in a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be honest, all, but... It, it, it's like... <laughs> to be honest, all, they, they are locking us down with... And there's no real instruction, I suppose. Do you know what I mean? You've got people going to Asda's and they... They've got like Halloween costumes have been taken down and yeah. bloody um, bedding and all that type of stuff is all locked away, so you can't get anything. Do you know what I mean? And they're calling these non-essential items. But if I had a night on the Guinness today and fucking shit the bed, the missus ain't gonna be chucking them in the washing machine, <laughs> is she? Do you know what I mean? It's gonna be like, oh, I need some new bedding. Why? Shit myself. <laughs> yeah, non-essential. <laughs> well, that, that's the crazy around. thing, isn't it? It's the non-essential machine, things, like. and it's like. Hang on, who's saying what is essential and non-essential? Like I know exactly because they have all the alcohol aisle open, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Well, that that all is that, essential oh. when you're in a lockdown. I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I know. And it just I, I, I walked into Tesco's, a local Tesco's, the other week, and um, the other day actually, and all the books and stuff was all locked up as well. Like, how is that non, non-essential for someone? Do you know what I mean if you're in the house, you had a few days in the house, kids are going wild, do you know what I mean? You want a bit of time to yourself, you think, right, I got nothing on hand, I need to go to Tesco's, whatever, I grab myself a nice book, I'll have a read, do you know what I mean? Just lose myself in a book for a bit, do you know what yeah. I mean? And um, they, they're all locked away, like, so I'm thinking to myself, like, how, how we coming up with these uh, things as some essential and some non-essential is, <laughs> is baffling me, to be honest. It is crazy, mate, it is. Yeah. and I, I was I was funny enough I went I went full housewife yesterday so we were watching a bit of um this morning and what have you and they, and they were saying um how it's starting to re-affect people's mental health because we're we're designed to be social we're social animals and they're like no you Definitely can't be like that it's fucking yeah, yeah we it's, can do we can do yeah. things like this which I, I believe helps in a way, like having a conversation through Zoom. But there's nothing better than having, as you as you taffies would say, your buddy coming over for a fucking a whiskey or a coffee and a chat. Yeah, or, or going to the pub. Wait, yeah, we we mind for kutching in Wales as well. See, so oh, you love a kutch, like don't you? you? you yeah. <laughs> oh, you got to have it, but 
and you you see it now all the time. Like I go for a run or, or go for a walk or whatever it is, even with his, with a family or, and um, you're walking down a street and people are crossing a road. Do you know what I mean? And where we are from in the valleys is is such a um, a great community. Yeah. Not once in my lifetime have I walked down the road and seen anyone cross over or whatever. Do you know what I mean? You, you walk Man. down the road is, hey, but all right, but you, even if we don't know anyone, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. just but people are pe- people are last scared now. They've made people that afraid. It's um it's crazy times, man, at the moment. It is. And do you know what? Going on to your point there about the Welsh, and <laughs> I've never met such a polite nation. Like my mum, my mum's Welsh. She's right. But the thing is, you guys are very polite, but you have that you have that dragon's fire. That's what I like to call it. So my yeah. mum is the <laughs> nicest person in the world until you piss her off and then she's horrible. And she's probably listening. Mum, you're horrible when you lose it. Um, <laughs> but, but she's she's a Valleys girl. She's from Bargoid originally. Ah, oh, right, Dai. So um Oh, you've got to watch a Bargoid girls, mate. <laughs> <laughs> to yeah, be honest, so, but, to be honest, but I to be honest, I, I don't think it is many Welshmen that uh, that I'm scared of their mums, or to be honest. But oh, I, it's always the mums. You, you can, uh, yeah, or you've got to watch them. But they they all got a bit of fire in them, haven't they? Oh, my 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 grand, got, she she had, she was a um she was a traffic warden, Betty Betty Bookham they called her. Mm. She she had <laughs> she had the fire as well, mate. She had the fire. <laughs> oh, I can well imagine. I no no one was giving Betty any shit, like. Definitely not, mate. Definitely not. <laughs> but like I said, I, I when I met up with Mason the other day in in Abercavenny and we were just walking around, it was literally like the the nicest people that I've ever like seen. I, I very rarely go went to Abercavenny or anywhere like that. If I did go to Wales, it'd be to see me gran in Bar- But even then, yeah, super super nice. But we were walking around and he was we went for went for lunch. Everyone was like, "Hey, right, Button, how's it going?" How's it going, Button? You right? yeah. He's like, do you even know them? Mate? He's like, no, it's just polite. <laughs> you walk, you walk through yeah, London, it's just, though, just and people just ignore you, and they're just rude and horrible. And I hate London, by the way. Yeah, worst it's, place on earth. It's I just think. what we, it's just what we seem to do. But I think we're just, we're a passionate nation, I suppose. But <laughs> and everyone see, everyone does like to get on with each other, and I think. Since I was a kid, but that's all I've ever known. You walk down the street, like I said, and you see someone coming towards you, and it, it's just the, it's just the done thing mm. in Wales. Like, do you know what I mean? You say, "Are you bad?" or "All right, bad," even if you don't know one. <laughs> so, for, for, my missus so for love this episode. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so for that to uh, to be stopped, well, it, it haven't stopped altogether. Don't get me wrong, but um, you can see people are, are a lot more cautious now about yeah, yeah. definitely interacting and engaging, like. Like uh, before this lot was happening, do you know what I mean? You, you see people now and they're a bit reluctant to shake hands, and you, you don't know whether to do you go in yeah, to shake you don't hands. Know whether do you, to you shake hands, give your butt your cuts, do you know what I mean? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> do, do you fancy a little cut, or bonkers. not? <laughs> I know. I, are we cutting or not? Like, do I, mean? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, no, where, where did the um, where did the idea for, for Tidy Butt come from? For, the, for those oh, of you who don't honest, know, but I, Matt, Matt's got um, a, a brilliant mental health style charity um, called Tidy Butt, which is the best name ever. I was going to wear the t-shirt today, <laughs> but fucking oh, too small. Yeah. <laughs> Nightmare butt. Do you know what? Exactly the same thing happened to me. I ordered a large uh, for myself in a black and a small come. So they, you've got to be something to do on the site or something. But got to be. Ma- Ma- Mason said exactly the same thing. Yeah, I'm sure the same at more Mace as well, but actually, yeah. Hey, well, he, what a boy old Mason is, but isn't it? Yeah. What a, <laughs> from, what a from, boy again, top one lad. of the one of the nicest people I've ever met or spoke to. Like Yeah, he's a he's a top lad, man. Fair play to him. And, Such a driven, motivated person. Yeah. Like and I, I was uh, I put a post up on Facebook. It was um his highlights for Cage Warriors. And I and I put on there and I put Mason is probably one of the nicest people you'd ever meet. I went, but he's yeah. a fucking savage. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he, he'd have no, he'd have no uh, no jo- no worries about hitting your teeth. I feel like would he? No, nah. 
No, he, he does and, then ask, and then ask it, and then he'd ask you if he was all right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you are, <bud. laughs> yeah I know. I. Oh, so getting back to your question, but it was um, to be honest, I I struggled with years myself with depression and that type of stuff, and I was I was saying to my missus, I said, look. If I feel like this, I said, they, they've got to be other people. They've got to be yeah. other people out there feeling this way. Um, so I, I spoke to my mate who's a, who's a graphic designer, and I was like, do me a favor, bud. I said, just knock me a, a, a couple of designs up. Told him the name, whatever. <laughs> he again said, oh, but I love the name. He said, let's, let's see what I can do. And, and to be honest, but I had him here for a while. And I was thinking to myself, right, do I put him out? Because I thought to myself, as soon as I pull this out, the initial fear of mine was... Judgment, do you know what I mean? I was yeah. thinking, what, what's other exactly people going to say? What's other, pe- what's other people going to think? And all of a sudden, but within a couple of weeks, it was locked down. And I was like, I said to my missus, I was like, oh, fuck this. I said, if it's, there is no better time to put it out here now, so let's just get it out here and see what happens. Yeah. And it, it kind of grow, grown from there, but to be honest, what, what started as a bit of a as a bit of a support network for people, I suppose. Like I started a Facebook group, a private Facebook group, yeah. Um, and we've slowly just started to grow from there, but to be honest, and, and it's gathering more and more momentum now every week. Like, so, um, it yeah, is, it's, 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 a, it's a brilliant thing, mate. And I, speaking from experience myself, so when I first started the podcast, I got loads of shit from, from lads that I served with in the military that I would call brothers. They, they gave me shit. Yeah. Yeah. They were saying, Tomo, you're faking this, mate. You're, you're jumping on the mental health bandwagon and things like that. And I had never been so down in my life when I started it. And if it wasn't for my brother, my missus and a few other uh, mates saying, no, you're doing the right thing here. You're breaking through that stigma of the strong military male that can now talk about his, his, his thoughts and feelings. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I broke through it. And then, I had that anxious feeling again when I b- released uh, Whiskey and Wrong Decisions. I was like, shit, what happens if I get all the negative yeah. stuff again? And I was like, and I said to myself, I literally, because I'm I'm now better at sort of balancing myself. And usually I would have gone straight to the negative thoughts. Uh, what I've, and I was like, no, nope. you enjoyed the process of making it. You've got a lot of content out there that you wanted to get off your chest. You've released it. Yeah. So what? If they like it, they'll like it. They'll tell you if they like it. If they don't like it and they tell you, fuck them. And I was like, yeah. like this was all going on in my head. And I was like, fucking Tomo, you've turned a corner here, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it's about fucking Definitely, time. But I think, I think we're all guilty of it, but we're, we're all guilty of trying to please other people. And yeah. when really the only, pe- the, the only person we got to please is ourselves. Yeah. And I think sometimes what we, we, we take up other people's opinion it's, it, we go back as a as a, to a child or, or or a memory, and we remember negative thoughts and feelings a lot, a lot quicker, a lot sooner. Yeah, they, yeah. They've a lot more vivid in our memory than than positive ones for sure. So that was one thing that stuck in my mind. I was thinking, oh fucking hell, do you know I mean I've played rugby all my life? Do you know I mean I, I've gone out with the boys? I've had the crack? Do you know I mean the boy? Nobody's going to be thinking I've struggled with this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So putting myself out there and and and. Like so one of my a, buddies, it's a proper brave step to do out. to put yourself out there. Definitely, yeah, definitely. But I, and I was thinking to myself, it is like yourself, but well, the podcast, I suppose. Are, are we supposed to to champion something or drive something if you're not honest yourself? Do you know what I mean? You just got to say, do you know yeah. what it, it, it is? What it is? This is how I feel. And to be honest, but I've, I've had nothing but positive responses, and, and yeah, I'm yeah. sure there's people in the background saying, like, especially like like you said, people, but he's you knew would be like, Joel, what's he on about? Like, do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. That's a lot and, of bollocks. But... And the crazy thing is, so the, one of the main culprits of um, the, the trolling, we could we could say, he was like really digging into me about that stuff. Like, we, we all, all of us in the regiment, we lost uh, a very close friend of ours, Cy Baldwin. He took his own life because he couldn't cope with his, with his PTSD um, after coming back from from Afghanistan and then he had a few issues with his um, new missus. She, she passed away of, um, I want to say cervix cancer. She was like only 20 something. Ah, right. And it was like, Jesus. 
but he 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 um he couldn't cope with his battles and took his own life. And I I mentioned him on the podcast um as a bit of a tribute, saying look if maybe if we all did a bit more to talk to him and and find out more, he might still be here. And yeah, I, we I got a lot of shit for it. It's like how dare you speak about him like that? You're you're lying about it. Anyway, fast forward to a few months back, and the bloke that was giving me all this shit actually apologised to me. He actually, um, oh, he said he went, uh, I, I never um, understood like mental health because I basically yeah. on a on a private um, regiment group, I put a video up, me sat here basically and just explaining what has been going on in, in my head um, while I start the podcast, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, my diagnosis from from the doctors and my therapist and and all this, and he yeah he was like I never realised mate and he went I was a bit blinkered with mental health and he went oh, I'm sorry I'm sorry I should have never have done it I was like I was like Same don't worry I was like don't worry about it. I went I've been there before um when one of my yeah. when when one of my close um, mates was on antidepressants I was like what the fuck's he on antidepressants for. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't until I, I started what... to learn more about it and I understood it, and I was like, "Oh, everybody's fucking different." Yeah, and how many times we hear it? Like, you hear people saying, "What have you got to fucking be depressed about?" Yeah, you know what I mean, he's, yeah. he's working. He got misses. If kids are happy, you know what I mean. Everything seems rosy, but like you said, everyone's different, but it, it affects people in so many different ways i suppose yeah and, and so, so some of the most successful people in the world look at robin williams you know what i mean he spent yeah. his life making other people laugh making other people happy and, and he wasn't happy yourself like he took his own yeah, life so. and yeah and that's a that's a huge thing i mentioned it excuse me on last night's podcast like a lot of people might look back on a few of these podcasts that i've done and see me joking around having a having a bit of a fucking silly goose moment joking with my brother joking with mace joking with guests being happy and positive and they're thinking hang on a minute you started this because you were depressed it's like oh yeah i was <laughs> doesn't mean i can't be happy it doesn't mean course, that i can't yeah, exactly. have good days you you haven't seen me on my fucking worst days where i'm fucking like Definitely dead quiet but... missus trying to talk to me and i'm going like having none of it like yeah. leave me alone sort of thing i need to be on my own and um yeah. like you said it's it's a lot of the time it's the people that you don't re like don't even expect like robin williams like yeah. um like the lead singer of um lincoln park i can't remember his name now that's, that's pretty bad he's that's fucking, i love lincoln park as well but he released a song one um one more light which was about his friend who took his own life. And then a no, few months later, madness. he does it, it doesn't yeah. take his own. It's like, you don't know what's going on. It was like Gary Speed, but when he, yeah. done a, he was on March of the Day on a Saturday, wasn't he? Yeah. I mean, and, and all the boys on air, they was like, fucking, he didn't have a clue. And that's the thing, but it's, we're so good at hiding our feelings. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, when it, I think, obviously now, especially with, the, with everything that's going on, I think it's, the stigma around mental health, but I think the, the the killer with it is is that word mental. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that's the thing for me. As soon as as soon as you hear the word mental, people are all straight away. They're like, "Whoa!" On the on. back foot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we just see people and in bloody it's, straight it's jackets and yeah, it's an, like, yeah. It's another thing as well. Like like obviously back in the day, it would have been straight jackets and you are mental. Um, yeah. But I well, I was on a on a positive psychology coaching uh, course, and they were talking about it being called mental health, and how it's the health people were like focusing on that when we should be talking about mental fitness, making you mentally yeah. fit to um yeah to deal with it instead of reacting to it. And it's like oh yeah, never thought of that. Fair that. enough. Yeah, yeah. But and I said, then as soon as as soon as we hear the word people are straight away like especially back a few months ago you would automatically yeah. think and it's the same with yeah, the same with all of them um like depression as soon as someone says oh i'm depressed they're like hang on shouldn't you be in a in a ball in the corner having a having a cry <laughs> yeah it's like, you, uh, well, what have we got to depress what have we got to be depressed about do you know what i mean man up do you know what i mean all these up, things yeah. but all these things like that, that was back a few months ago now i think of all turned on his head, you know what I mean? And people are really I, I agree there. And 
actually. Well, hang on, do you know I mean? Because I think even the people that wasn't affected prior to, to the uh, pandemic, I think it, it's, it tested every single person, I think. Like, so I think, I think everyone can certainly, it's given, certainly relate to It's given to people a lot, of, a lot of time to research, reflect, and understand more about what's going on within within the old noggin and yeah a lot of people probably didn't realize like they might just be a bit sad and they yeah put it down as depression when it's probably not but they they they've been in lockdown now and they and some a lot of, a lot of people been on in lockdown on their own and they've gone oh, oh so this is what it's like when you're isolated and you're not feeling good and you've got no one around you to talk to this is what and then it's like oh that's why it's fucking so and so feels like that and he feels yeah, alone all the time that. it's like, that's it. i think it's a, a lot of it is relatable now but then i do i mean even people they they didn't get it before i suppose but now obviously with with them feeling a little bit of it herself as well i i i feel sorry as well for some of the for some of the older people, I suppose, maybe some of the yeah. people are not IT savvy and that type of stuff. Who I don't know, husband and wife, yeah. I suppose. Of course, they, they, they go and do their shopping in Asda's or whatever, and that's their social. That's like yeah. out in for the week. Do you know what I mean? They they bump into someone in the aisle or whatever, and they have a chat in the aisle, and then they go and have a a brew or bloody scrambled egg on toast or something in the cafe. Do you know what I mean? And they speak to the waitress and that type of stuff. Yeah. And that is their, their little bit of... Uh, a little bit of social interaction. Social inclusion for the yeah. week. Like, do you yeah, know what I mean? But I suppose... And it all helps. Shut down it. Oh, it definitely, all helps. But definitely. And like I said, again, I go back to earlier on. I said, you see people in the aisles now and, and we're moving away from each other. And, and yeah. Like, like I said, oh, we're, and, and we're not, as, we're as not much, made for that, are we? Yeah, as much as the mask is a good thing, you can't see people's facial expressions now. The oh, amount of times where I'm that. trying to, I'm smiling at the kiosk lady or a kiosk bloke, but they can't see me smiling because they've got a fucking mask on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I find myself walking past people as well. Do you know what I mean? You've known people 20 years and you walk yeah. past them because you, you know I mean? they, they got a mask on. You know, I'm going to piss in clue who they are like. So, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, 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 certainly, a, it's certainly affecting it. All walks of life at the moment, but I suppose, isn't it? But, uh, Something we can't control, unfortunately. So no, and we that's just gotta um, get on with it, don't we? That is a massive thing in in back going back to um, mental health issues and things like that. Is a lot of people stress and get anxious about things that aren't in their control. So my missus is one of them. She's already starting to flap about this potential lockdown that England's about to go into, which they haven't decided. They're like talking about maybe mid December. But she's starting to worry about that. It's a bit yeah, like she worries yeah. about, like she might worry about the weather, for example, as well. She always will worry about things out of her control. And I'm like, you you can't, I mean, it's not in your control. You can't control what's going on. Don't get stressed about yeah. it. But Definitely. sometimes, sometimes I go straight over edge as if to go, what the fuck are you talking about? Just because you've done a couple of courses. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going on I about? Like, no, no, no. no Stop <laughs> stressing about it. <laughs> like things that you can control. Psychologist, anyway. yeah. It's like things you can control. Sure, if you can control it, and you and it's still not going right, I can understand your stress. You're getting anxious, but I, 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 I get it. I get anxious. Like I mentioned last night on the last night's podcast. Time is my one. If yeah. I'm if I'm running late, I get really anxious, and it really bugs me. I start pacing about the house. Um, but I also get anxious about it if, say, for example, I'm meeting up with my brother who is away with the fairies most of the time. He doesn't, he, I don't even think he owns a watch. Um, <laughs> always late, never on time. Tell him that you're going out at, say, fucking eight o'clock, like five to eight. He's literally just getting in the shower. You're like, what the fuck have you yeah. been doing? You're trying I to make me have a nervous breakdown. But... <laughs> but it's what it's that one of those. I can't control that. So I shouldn't yeah. be stressing about it. I should just go and sit down, have a beer, chill out. But I don't. I start pacing. My dad is exactly the same. We start pacing, looking at our watch, going, what is going on? We need to leave in like this. And then he's like, we don't need to leave. That's just the time we said we might go out. It's not a set time. <laughs> it's like, <fuck. laughs> yeah, you've got both ends of the scale here. But anyway, I suppose. 
Oh, it's all I can't. Late. I can't say a lot, but my my timekeeping in the best. I got to be honest. It's definitely one of the things I've been working on lately. Is uh, trying to be on time for stuff. I got a bit of an history with the boys, but I'm exactly the same. Like I said, they say, <laughs> "Oh, we'll we, we'll meet for seven, and I'm getting in the shower at ten too." Like so. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, my my laptop, get every minute out of the day. My laptop likes to um <laughs> likes to test me. So I am got the greatest laptop. It works, does its job, but. Every now and then I'll be getting ready to do a podcast. I'll, I usually try and set up about 15, 20 minutes early just so I can get it all because it's slow. So a good number of times I've gone to set it up and it's decided to do a software update on me. And then it takes about <laughs> fucking an hour. It's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> There's me yeah, messaging, messaging my, um, my guests. Like, I'll be there as quick as I can. My laptop's fucking having a... Sp- having a shit fit it's mental me yeah. <laughs> again but like you said on it it's, it's, it's something it's just one of them things like you just can't control it can it, it was like no. back back three weeks ago we was let in bed in the house all of a sudden it was like half past one in the morning we had a fucking big crash it's like oh no looked out the window somebody come past the house and wrote the car off do <laughs> so i was like oh my god but again like what, what do you do do you get stressed out about it and, and down about it or or you just say right the things i can control now is getting all of the insurance making sure everything's good from our end get the car yeah. towed away from you do you know what i mean and and concentrate on the solution rather than the problem i suppose yeah, exactly when we, yeah. we 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 focus a lot don't we on on the issues rather than uh, solutions and that's something i've been trying to work on over the past few months is focusing my energy on, on solutions rather than problems to be fair but uh don't, and don't get me wrong it it it, it doesn't always work huh? <laughs> that's for sure <laughs> because uh <laughs> it doesn't always work definitely not but um it's, it's no, something i've been not. trying to improve over the last few months yes yeah. well i have noticed on your um on your socials on on tidy but you, you enjoy going out on your little runs yeah i do but to be honest it is it's well, everyone we we all got coping strategies and we and yeah that's 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 mine to be fair but if if i don't exercise if i'm not out and about i um that's when i just that's when i can start to feel my mood dropping a little yeah, bit so i feel the same I do, I do, I, yeah i do try to get out but most days maybe um every other day if if i got something on but there's nothing to see like getting that run under my belt it, it just sets me up like do you know what i mean it's yeah, yeah. uh it's, it's like I can just feel the weight lifting off my shoulder. So it's definitely good for me. It's but like exercise. a sense of freedom, and, and isn't it? Like, yeah, just out on definitely. the fucking road. I'm not, I'm, not one, I'm not one for running. I like to go down the gym and hit the punch bag for an hour or so just to ri- get rid of my anger because that's what I have a lot of. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I totally get it when you're going out on a run or a, or a long walk. Just being outside, you're like, ah, like, this is yeah. I'm at peace now. Like just got your music on yeah, or you listen to a podcast or whatever, just and you're like, Yeah, this is all right. This nice. Yeah, definitely. But uh, and like you said, even at the time you're thinking, Oh my god, this is tough. Or yeah. and, and the amount of times I, I've had to fight with myself to get my trainers on, get me out the door. But once I'm out, do you know what I mean? I I've never been disappointed or I've never been upset that I've done an exercise, to be honest, because you feel amazing when you get back in. So yeah, it's definitely uh, something I tried to do. And to be honest, I, I kept a log for a, for a long time, like a mood log. And if I went any more than three days without exercise, I, I, there was like a drastic change in my mood. So I, I ensure now every week, but I go no longer than three days. And I, to be honest, I can't remember the last time I did. Because I know like, regardless of how hard I'm working out on the run or, or whatever you do, you're always going to feel better afterwards. So uh, yeah, that's a, I that's do a try and get out as often as I can. The, the mood log. That's a, that's a good idea, that. I never thought about doing anything like that. To, yeah, t- to be honest, but it, it came from, like, a, a bit of a shout-out. I'm, I'm a member of a, they call it the 5 a.m. club. Um, and th- these guys are entrepreneurs. They, they talk about business. They talk about property. I know everything was data-driven. And I was thinking to myself, well, what if I started keeping logs on my mood, on my routines, on my diet? And, and then I can look back after the week and say to myself, well, 
Fucking hell, that, that's why you was feeling shit today because you didn't exercise. You was yeah. eating shit. You know what I mean? You, you, you didn't get up till ten o'clock, or, or you didn't complete a, a tidy routine, or there was no structure about your day. And um, to be honest, I, I, I keep it on my. In fuck, I think I got in my. You are, but I still Look got in my pocket. Like. Boom. <laughs> And that's anything to do with anything throughout the day, any sudden change in mood or, or anything, like even if you listen to a podcast or that type of stuff and you just make a little note. Um, but I found that it, that helped me massively. So being able to look back over the data through the week or, or after two weeks' time and, and you can start to see patterns in your behaviour or patterns in your mood that, yeah. you can, <coughs> that you can assess. like Assess, readjust, re-engage, sort the problem. Definitely, definitely. I've, all, I've also noticed you definitely. like to challenge yourself. You, you mentioned in a in a message as well. Ah, going to be uh, yes. So, so running up and down your uh, stairs. Back a, few, <laughs> <laughs> back a few months ago, but I done. Uh, I walked the equivalent of Kilimanjaro using the stairs in the house, and yeah. that was during the first lockdown actually. Um, and tomorrow now I'm going to start tomorrow night. Actually, I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do the Everest one. So. Uh, <laughs> Look, looking forward to it and not looking forward to it to be honest so how many um, how many flights of stairs is that then that you got to go up uh, 2,949 flights that is so uh, I got to go up in uh, but, hell but <laughs> <laughs> up and down up and down up and down is classed as is classed as one so um, I done what was it 1684 the first time that was Kilimanjaro so it's just just under double that and that took me 16 hours so I'm going to be going into the 30 hour I, I would have thought 30 but. hours climbing up and down your <laughs> carpet's going to be so, really <laughs> I know I, <laughs> this is going to be like she you have that, put I know crazy footsteps in my carpet <laughs> I know she said that on the last one mine I'm going to need some new carpet but in fairness it held up all right so uh, but after this one I don't know what it's going to be like she'd have the fucking carpet fit to you on Monday I swear <laughs> yeah <laughs> your legs must have been in clip afterwards yeah t to be honest on the it was like I got about four or five hours in on the first one and it, it's my knees started playing up so I've made yeah. sure I've got the, some good straps and I know for this time and just sort of turn it my steps on the way down and that type of stuff. I learned a lot on that fucking first one, I gotta be fair. And I also learned a lot about myself, but to be honest, because like I got eight, nine hours in and like a, a, a mate of mine's in was triathlon and he said, But yeah. you, you will be going into the you you will be going into the hall at some point. Like <laughs> I got about eight or nine hours in and I gave him a ring. I said, But I'm in that fucking hall he was on about. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, wait, wait, wait. Your mind is just like, but just stop. Like, what, what are you doing? Do you yeah. You know I mean, why the fuck are you going through this? Just go and sit on a set, eager. You've got no reason you've to done, be doing You've this. done eight hours. Come on, go and have a break. Go and have a lie down. I know. You fucking lie down yeah. on that set, mate. Oh. You ain't getting back up. <laughs> no, you fuck. <laughs> you've got absolutely no chance of it. But, hey, it would be uh, funny, though. Yeah, you, definitely. You get, get halfway up your stairs and like, set up a tent. You miss it. We're like, what are you doing? You're like, oh, <laughs> just, just camping out. <laughs> Base camp. Uh, yeah, we're, all, we're almost at the summit, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna set up here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have five that I I know. But yeah, hopefully I'm gonna I'll, Good I'll idea, that. tomorrow night now twelve tomorrow night, twelve o'clock, I'm gonna start that, so I'm hoping to get done then by uh, Sunday afternoon with a bit of luck. Oh, happy days. I did know I did see um in the first lockdown this this um bloke in London did it like the equivalent of the London marathon by running around his table in his living room and he, I was like that's mental <laughs> 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 why are you just running around in a circle and then it's like yeah, I was oh, going to say I bet you were dizzy it, wasn't it? yeah I was like well, I'm, I'm sure it's keeping him fucking active and keeping him happy so why that's not it. Like, and that's it see but it's just it's, it's something to focus on and I suppose there's a lot of there's a lot of people that that's off work at the moment or you're not playing for a team or you're unable to train at the gym or whatever. So it just gives you something to focus on. I was planning on doing this in November and I was going to put a bit of a thing together where other people could join in and climb other virtual mountains and stuff. And I thought to myself, do you know what? I just, for two weeks now, the first week, get the first week out of the way, I'll do this. Then I got another week and it's done again. Do you know what I mean? So it just gives me something to focus on, I suppose. 
And I think with people coming up with these challenges, I know people have been doing like backyard marathons and stuff where they've been like yeah. running the equivalent of marathons, like the, the back and for their gardens and that type of stuff. It's just, start, start just swimming in the pond. Try and keep you sane. But <laughs> yeah, fishing in the pond and stuff. I. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you must be used to walking just, up the mountains, though, in uh, being in the valleys. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of mountains about here, but to be fair. 10 minutes yeah. either in either direction and, and you're on top of the mountain like where yeah, we are from it, so mate. uh yeah there's there's plenty of training about yeah that's for sure Fucking beautiful sight in it beautiful you've done enough of it but did it when in the beacons and stuff like that was it yeah 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 well um when we when we were going out on pre-deployment we would um we tend to go to sunny bridge which is obviously in the beacons all ah, right camp sunny bridge um yeah that, that to be fair, I I used to love it. I used to love going up and down the mountains. Um, it was fucking hanging. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. <laughs> I, even even now, I, I I I miss being that close to like Penny Fan and what have you. Because down down here in Kent, I've, it's flat basically, and um, it's like ugh, yeah. I'd love to just go up a mountain just for take the kids up. Yeah. So when when the weather gets better, when the lockdown stops we're gonna take a nice little trip i reckon take the girls up there missus will probably hate it but she'll enjoy it when she gets up to the top and oh, sees no how doubt. beautiful it is yeah <laughs> i got a one of my buddies he pulled up the other day i told him about what i was doing he was like oh he said i took a missus up penavan he said we got halfway up and she said oh fuck this she said i, I can't <laughs> go anymore she said oh, i'll wait yeah and uh i'll catch you on the way back down he said come on you nutter he said I fucking gave you what chocolate now in the coffee in the cafe up there at the top. She's like, "Ah, all right." <laughs> you got her all. The, you got her all the way to the top. She's like, oh, "You bastard!" Is the what chocolate up there? <laughs> Tell you what, she's expecting they, they a coffee uh, on the top. They could earn a mint. They could earn a mint if they put a little fucking oh, van up there. I... Getting up there, mind, yeah. would be a bit of a struggle. Yeah, that's, but <laughs> that's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Heli drop, funk. <laughs> I know. So it'd be ideal, but when I get to the top there, have a nice brew or whatever, it'd be uh, yeah. Especially if we, if we can get up there on a nice day, the views are oh, it's, the views it's, are something else, isn't it? So we, me and um, me and little little Brown, my brother, we went up there. Would have been last September, and in true Welsh style, the weather just decided to just do what it fancied. Yeah. So one minute we were looking out, and it was fucking beautiful sunshine. It looked absolutely amazing. Went up a little bit further, completely black clouds, fucking pissing down. Went up a little bit, went up and over one of the edges, and it was fucking beautiful again, completely silent, no wind, no nothing. Went a little bit further, and then it was, we almost lost a dog. It fucking, the fucking wind just went, <laughs> the fucking dog was yeah. off. I was like, my brother lost his hat and everything. He was like, I was like, this yeah. couldn't be any more Welsh, this fucking... <laughs> I've, I've been up there a few times but and it's like a fucking summer's day on the bottom and, and you go down here and you see these boys walking up in their vests and their flip-flops and I'm thinking oh boys what are you doing man yeah <laughs> you get you get halfway up you don't know of the way up do you know I mean it's fucking snowing like <laughs> yeah you don't know when you get up there it no. just decides it just fancies whatever it wants it's like tell you what we're gonna do Definitely we're gonna hail storm doing, now <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, definite, but you can't. It's so unpredictable the Welsh weather, I suppose. But so it's like the it's like the Welsh definitely. ladies, mate. Unpredictable. <laughs> yeah, I think that goes for every lady, or but doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you're but, right there. Okay, now, oh, if I could work one of them out, but yeah, okay, now. To be definitely. fair, I was going to say then as well. Um, looking back on your um on your little profile on on Instagram, you've got. Got some decent ambassadors as well in in Mason and Jack. But fucking yeah, yeah definitely. Two absolute they, they, they local, stormers. Yeah, they they local boys. But and then in fairness to them, like I said, I've known them both for a, for a long time. And when I approached them about it, they was both super super happy to get involved. Do you know what I mean? They they great influences for for the young children as well, growing up within the area. Yeah. I suppose just seeing. And as cheesy as it sounds, but then boys are, are actually going after their dreams. And I suppose there's not a great deal of positive influences, I suppose, where, where we are living at the moment. Um, so 
to aspire to be something like them guys, you know what I mean? I actually yeah. see it doesn't matter where, where you're from or, or what upbringing you've had or it is about choices and, and if you're prepared to put the work in, you know what I mean? The sky's the limit. Definitely. Um, uh, and again, Reese Thomas is another one, former international uh, rugby player. He's a top, top lad. He, he struggled himself over the years with, with addiction and, and mental health. Um, and now he's doing some great work within um, supporting people with addiction and, and mental health and that type of stuff. So, yeah, we've got, we, we're got really, really lucky to have three three amazing guys on board at and and they are doing it for the right reasons as well. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's yeah. not for exposure. It's not they haven't jumped on the mental health bandwagon. They, they are doing it because they they want to be involved and they, and they want to make a difference. So yeah, it's 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 a real honour to have, have all three on board at the moment. To be fair, yeah. Well, it was it was Mason that said um, to me to check you out. Like I think he was wearing your t shirt or something and um in, in a ah, post. Right. And I said, oh what what's that? And he was like, oh it's a uh, one of my buddies is a mental health charity. I was like, all right. I was like, put me in comms then. And he was like, all right, yeah, no problem. And then I was like, you know what Mason's like? He's got a fucking mind like a sieve sometimes. I was like, <laughs> fuck it, I'll, I'll fucking do it then, Mason. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. I, <laughs> he got that much going on, but I mean. He has, he's, he's, he's a top lad. Though. He's, he's nuts, and, man. and Jack as well, both top, top fucking, yeah, as we would say, down guys, south geezers. They, they, yeah, they, they, they're real genuine boys, but as well as it's what you see, is what you get. And I, I honestly believe that the pair of them will be able to go into the UFC. Obviously, now Mason have been signed as well and really put the Welsh boy, really put Wales on the map. I think they can go in there and, and make a real difference. Do you know what I mean? Top fighters coming out of Wales at the minute. Because obviously, yeah, Mark Marshman is fighting in, in, is it this weekend? Marshman's fighting? Yeah, I think it's Saturday, I think. But yeah. So there's another yeah. one. Um, you got it's, it's strange because we got like we got Marshman, we got um, Jack, uh, Jack Shaw, and Mason, and they all live, they all live within like five six miles of each other. <laughs> it's fucking nuts. It's because you Valley Boys are fucking mental, mate. Yeah. Then you got the then you got <laughs> then you got the benchmark. What what you need to get is you need to get Joe on board, mate. Joe Kawasaki and Enzo. Yeah. Macanelli. Yeah. I know why they the boys, isn't he? Yeah, but uh, to, to be fair, but it's it's growing week on week now. This tidy but thing, I think our our Facebook group, we got a private Facebook group, and it just to see people on there engaging with each other and, and interacting, I think and that and helps the messages. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. But I, I think even if even if somebody is not confident enough to talk, they, they can go on and they can read other what yeah, other people can, are saying, yeah. other people's comments, definitely. other people's coping strategies and solutions and that type of stuff. So. They, they they're still getting something out of it, I suppose. And, having, having a community week on week, like this is 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 mega. Like, um, there's a a company that helps support the podcast called Right Flank. Um, I've spoke about them quite a few times. They're a sports apparel company. Um, All ah, right, coming out of Liverpool, and uh, Steve Nichols, who's been on the show, he is he suffers really badly with PTSD to the point where he. He attempted to take his own life a couple of times, but he's on the straight. Straight, I would say he's on the straight and narrow. He's he's working his way um, to to be happy, shall we say? Um, but he Good. started up a side project as part of Right Flank called the Right Flank Support Group, and again, it's it's mainly for ex-military or serving military to come and obviously do exact similar thing to the the tidy butt one. Come in if you want to put a post in. Put a post in if you don't. If you want to just read and and be a part of it, even it still helps. You know what I mean. And these support yeah, groups are, are, are amazing and work wonders. I feel because yeah, especially um, ex-military um, like veterans, you lose that that sense of um, comradeship and and having the boys about and and probably the similar in in like rugby teams and, and football teams and you 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 lose Definitely. it if you if you retire from football you've lost your uh you've lost your mates or you, or you might Definitely, not lose yeah. your mates but you know what i mean you've you've lost that that bond and having a support yeah. group having things like tidy but right flank support even the granites are a podcast you've got yeah places where you can go and have a chat and have a and it, it fucking helps 
it's, it's just, one of the reasons like you why said, I started this. Was, well, it's originally, like originally it was just me sat here talking to myself. And then <laughs> for, my, my missus found that hilarious. She's like, so you go to the shed and you talk to yourself for 45 minutes. I went, yeah. She went, I don't know many people that could hold a conversation with themselves for 45 minutes. It's like, <laughs> and I'm like, well, I just like the sound of my own voice tonight. So it's fine. Um, but having having guests on now, it just it's, makes it even even better. Like, like we don't need, we could be on this now. We didn't have to talk about um, mental health stuff. We could have been talking about rugby, football, anything. But I can guarantee That's when it. we when we hang up the call, we're like, oh, I feel good now. Because I've had a, I've had a chat, yeah, definitely. But and that's it. It's, it's just for a lot of people, like you said earlier on. But some people might not see anyone now at all for two weeks, so they can go online. Do you know what I mean? They can they can see a post or something that people have wrote or or, or commented on, and they can relate to it. Do you know what I mean? So I, and, I, and I think a lot of people, but just being able to relate to to certain things or certain problems, and they can say to themselves, "Well, actually, I, I'm not alone. It is other people feeling that way." And I think that really resonates with, with a lot of people. And like I said, I, I, I've had messages now on, on a weekly basis just saying how much the group and stuff helps them. So it's definitely, awesome. it's definitely, having, a, it's definitely having a positive impact. And uh, to be honest, uh, when I first started, I remember being on the set with the missus and I was like, oh, fuck, I got 10 members now. I said, there's 10 members in the group. You know, I, I was buzzing. Yeah. And, uh, and I, think, I think we're up on like 950 members now, right? So... I know, um, I know, I know, I know exactly what you mean there as well. So, I remember when I first got to say two hundred people on on the podcast as uh, as on my Instagram, for example. It's like fucking, hell, I made two hundred. Yeah, yeah. I got two hundred followers. <laughs> now I'm on like nine hundred and seven. I'm like, how the fuck have I got nine hundred and seven people following me? This makes yeah, no sense. <laughs> I know, but but it, it's like a, it's it's a momentum thing, isn't it? But like, yeah. like it's, it's like anything, I suppose. You've stayed consistent. You know what I mean? You've kept plugging away, and all, over time, I suppose, it, them little them little things compound into big things. So there's there's more and more people like I see you on my socials like virtually every day. Like so, either yourself or somebody sharing something or. And I think it's when it compounds like that, but it's just going to get bigger and bigger. Like you said, you, you've had some awesome guests on as well. I'm new at the moment. So, oh, sh- and, and it's like, like mental. Yeah, so- it, it's been crazy. Like, but a lot of people I've had on, I, I've a, a couple of days ago, I had a, a, a brilliant photographer, um, former veteran photographer. He's the guy, the first guy to come in the shedio for a long time and sit and have a, have a chat. And um, he was like, I've never done a podcast and I'm a bit shocked to why you've asked me to come on. I'm like, I don't always go for the blue tick people to come on. Yeah. The, the, the blue tick yeah. brigade help boost the profile of the show because they're famous inverted commas. I went, but I could have fucking anybody in here to have a chat. That's, yeah. that's the reason for it. It's not, it's like I say to my daughters all the time. Cause they're like, Oh daddy, you've got a YouTube channel. It's like, yeah, I know I've got like, 51 mem- followers it's not a big thing she was like, oh, are you trying to be famous no girls i'm not this is not about <laughs> being famous it's about daddy helping his own fucking noggin they yeah. like but they they get it but yeah he was like i don't know why you've picked me to come on i'm like because i think what you do in your photography stuff i think it's fucking brilliant oh and, yeah, and the yeah. fact that most people take pictures on their iphones now and the art of taking a, a, a photo is sort of dying out and you're still using the old style camera with the different lighting. And I just think it's fucking spectacular. And I went, and I like the fact that you you can come in here and and give your view on, on fucking whatever. And the the strangest one I had. So in my head, I think he's, he's, he deserves to be famous and have a blue tick and and all that. And that's a, a director by the name of Phil Turner, who did, he directs SAS Who Dares Wins. He's one of the directors on that. He directs the uh, the TV show Ambulance. I think I think it's called Ambulance. Oh yeah, yeah. They I follow know. the um, the paramedics around. He's done loads of loads of different. He did, he did the Tyson Fury documentary. He was the director for that. Oh, fair play. I got. I sent him a message fair saying, play. "Do you fancy coming on the show?" He was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I'd love to." He went, "You know, I'm not famous, and I, I'm not a big thing." I was like, "Hang on a minute." <laughs> You're a BAFTA nominated director and you don't think you're a big thing. I was like, you're brilliant. I went, and you've got 
all these different views and you support Man United. We've got loads of things to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I suppose back as well, like, uh, it's, it's, everyone you're getting on is real back to me. Yeah. Like you said, it's not, uh, it's not just about the blue ticks and some of the best interviews you've had, no doubt, but it's with the guys that haven't got the blue ticks. Do you know what I mean? Because it's, yeah, exactly. it's real. They got nothing, they got nothing to impress. They, <laughs> they just tell me what it is. So, exactly. And that's, that's the thing. Just have it. It's, I've had one one terrible interview that I spoke to Mason about, which he thought was quite funny. Um, I won't I won't mention <laughs> the guy's name on it. I'll tell you after. Um, but it wasn't it wasn't a, a conversation that flowed. It was it was awkward. It was myself, uh, this guy, and um, my brother as a, as a, like a three way sort of Skype Zoom call thing. And my brother faked technical difficulties and just left. He said, and then he sent me a message <laughs> saying, I can't do it, mate. He was like, I can't do it. This is the most awkward conversation I've ever had. Uh, I was like, yeah, it is. Oh, no. Cheers for leaving me. I, I tried to make the, I tried yeah, to make the like, best oh, out of it, that. but there was no, there was no connection. There was no back and forth. There was no banter. There was nothing. And it was, <laughs> yeah. and it was just. So your brother tucked you up then? But yeah, he, he did. He threw like, me oh, under the bus. On, he threw me under the bus. But. <laughs> <laughs> Brotherly love, Harris, but then yeah, it? and yeah, um, well, it's I'm off. Yeah, I've got I've got to mention uh, a guy as well. He said he's going to listen to the show. Um, he's um former uh, three power uh, sniper. His name's Hugh. He does a, a podcast called the H Hour Podcast. Um, Welsh oh, right. guy, Welsh guy. He's fucking he's top notch. And I, I mentioned you. I was like, oh, you need to check out this podcast that I'm doing with um with a company called Tidy. But I think he would be pretty good on a, on your show. And then I was like, is your show mainly fucking military? And he was like, no, no, I have I have all walks of life on, on my show. A bit like similar to mine. I was like, oh, brilliant. I went, check him out. He's fucking brilliant. So I check him out. He's 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 good oh, mates with, I was like, he's good mates with Jack and Mason because uh, Hugh loves, he fucking loves, he's jealous because I've had Jack and Mason on my on my show. He's like, how have you got all these top Welsh fighters? <laughs> you English? His words, what, how have you got all these top Welsh fighters, you English cunt? Was his fucking... <laughs> was his words. <laughs> I like why he's got hey, That's him. a compliment in the valleys, Harry's back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll... Um, called that's a compliment in the valleys. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll ping him, I'll ping him your, your details and um, and the link to this episode when it releases, and I'm sure he'll uh, he'll be in contact with you. He's he's a top bloke. He's a top that's bloke. Sweet. You. He's awesome, but good. I'll check him out as well. He's the H Hill podcast. Who said was it? H Hour. Oh, H Hour. Yeah, H Hour podcast. <laughs> he's had some fucking. He's had some top guests. He's um. He's actually really close mates with uh, Marshman as well. All oh, right. Okay. Oh, I'll check. I'll check him out. What? Yeah, yeah he's a, he's he's had some fucking brilliant guests. Like to the point where I've gone. That's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want him on. Um. But yeah, he's, um, <laughs> he's he's a top he's a top bloke he's a top bloke. So what have you got? What have you got on for the rest definitely. of the rest of what day are we on? Thursday, isn't it? Thursday. The rest today, of your Thursday. Yeah, to, to be honest, but I haven't got a great deal on today. I um I'm gonna once we're done by I know what I'm gonna go go and get my daily uh, run in. We hate, but it's absolutely pissing down. But uh, makes it even better, mate. It's, it's strange because I I never I never enjoyed running in the rain ever. And as soon as I thought to myself, do you know what? Fucking hell, how, how lucky are you to be able to go out and just feel our wind and rain and fucking ex ex be able to have the ability to go out and actually exercise. And it, it totally ch switched my mindset. And, and to be honest, no, but I can't, I really, I love actually going out and running and just feeling that, that wind and rain hitting in your face. It, it yeah, makes yeah. you feel awesome. So I'm going to, I'm going to be doing that after this. Um, and to be honest, but I am got a great deal on this afternoon. I got a little bit of work to do. I'm I'm, I'm currently writing a blog now for the for uh, the, the website, um, and I'm just going to plod on with that, and I'm going to rest the legs up then. But for tomorrow, like so, oh, again, he's isn't... he's climbing Everest, the Welsh <laughs> Everest. So yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm got. How about you, but have we got much on today? Oh, uh, so at the minute, I've got a house full. So I've got my two, and then my best mates boys because my best one of my best mates is he's on nights so um uh, we're looking after his his two boys so we've got my two girls his two boys miss fuck it 
I might just pretend that oh, I'm in here out. for hours and just stay in here. <laughs> yeah. Just, it just run, it run here. on for a bit, love. Yeah. yeah. yeah run on, it run on for a bit. That was her, that was her words, fight. actually. He went, you're not going to do another monster podcast here. I was like, Nah, I might. <laughs> but when she says the monster podcast, that's that's usually when I have like Mason on because he he can talk yeah, for yeah. whales, that boy. And it, it oh, he'd love a chat, doesn't he? Yeah, he loves he loves yeah, the he'd love a chat. Oh, mate, sweet mate. Man. <laughs> I was uh, I I I got a, a a bit of a barber shop in my cellar, like so he'd have come up now and again, have his a cut or whatever, and Jack and a couple of the boys come up. And um, you you give him like an half hour slot or forty five minute slot, or whatever. No way to just wipe the whole hour out, and just like you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just like uh, can I have, can I have a trim math? Yeah, no worries. But come up with ten, and then I sit down for it till like eleven. I I won't bother booking anyone else in then because he he's mad for a chat and he fit right with him. He does, yeah. He was he was actually saying that you um you gave him a trim when I met him up uh, in in Abercrombie. I was like, yeah, he's cut, he's cut me hair before. And I was yeah. like, ah, fucking man of many talents. Happened to me hair as well. <laughs> yeah, you tried that. That, that, was a, that was another, well, it's what I've done in the, in, the, um, in the first lockdown, to be honest. But we got a seller or whatever. And I said to my missus, oh, I'm just going to do something down in there. And she was like, well, put a little barber shop in there then. So that's what I've done. But I, put, I tiled it all out and that, put is a chair you, um, and mirror on the wall. And... Is that what you, you normally do, is it? Barbering. No, I well, I I'm a support worker. I am, oh. um, and it, it bar, barbering was just what I was doing as a pastime. To be like honest, that's why we trained in something. Yeah, so I retrained oh, in, in, in barbering, and uh, I was working it for a while, and obviously then just life got all of it too too busy to to fit everything in. So I knocked it on the head for a bit, and then uh, with the lock with the uh, lockdown that happened back a few months ago, I said, "Oh fuck, I, I won't mind getting back into it." Because in fairness, I do miss it, and it. It's a good social job as yeah, well, it you is. know what I mean? Because you, you get getting people in and you're it's like, yapping um, and you're, you're chatting. It's like the old uh, American style, uh, like the, the black American style, they're going to, they, what was it? Black black men don't go to, to therapy, they go to the barbershop. I think is a quote from, right, from, uh, from a movie, I think. <laughs> but, it, yeah. but it's true. I tell you all, but you'll be, su- you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised because it's, it's, it's only enough room for two people in it. So it's myself and obviously whoever's here and cut in. And we do have some amazing conversations. Yeah, you know I mean? it's some, it's some, they, they tell you so much stuff. Like, like, so, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, my, my missus is a hairdresser. The there, but let me tell you. Yeah, my uh, missus is a hairdresser. And um, it must just be a natural thing because obviously they're just talking while they're doing it. But it's like she is all these women's therapists as well. Like she comes home and she's yeah. like, Oh, I've had a hell of a day. He's like, have you? She's like, yeah. They, <laughs> like so and so has been telling me this. So and so has been telling me. It's like Jesus Christ. She's like, yeah. Everyone just seems yeah. to give me all their problems. It's like, <laughs> yeah. When well, you need think, to change jobs and get people, paid more. <laughs> yeah. They, I think you just sit in a chair and just relax. I think for some people, yeah. like coming from a cut or whatever, is is their free time. Yeah. So like, is there? bit of time away from the kids is there a bit of time away from a partner or job or whatever it may be and it's just that little half hour or hour where they just get to forget everything get something off their chest and and then have a nice air cut like do you know what i mean which which makes you feel better anyway but uh oh it's, it's definitely surprising but they, <laughs> some people they go into all sorts but uh you have all walks of life in there but you're there just trying to give them a nice number one on the back <laughs> and sides and you're like i don't really need to know that mate <laughs> Cheers for that. It, keep, it keep, keeps it interesting, all but keeps it I interesting bet. for sure. I bet. And again, going back it to the, the the same one, having that little bit of social connection, social interaction is just what we need. Go to the barber shop, definitely, and have you, have you, definitely. Go for your therapy in the barber shop. Definitely, and, and that's like I said, we we get all walks of life in there as well. So it's. Uh, no, no way it cuts the same, but everyone's everyone's different today. And everyone like is said is you'd be yeah, you'd be surprised as well how, how many people talk about like we, we talk again of going back to mental health and, and the stigma around it. Do you know what I mean? I'm seeing more and more people actually open up about certain issues or c- certain problems that they that they have gone out, which is uh, again is another positive moving forward. So I think that that, that stigma around the mental health thing, I said people like yourself or whatever that that are putting ourselves out here and, and making it making it a positive thing 
yeah. is uh, is certainly start is certainly start to have an impact. I think, but for 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 a good rather than uh, rather than negative for sure. Definitely, and having the likes of myself and 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 you showing that you can just smash through stereotypes. All right, former rugby player, you got former soldier sat here saying, "Look, we've been fucking depressed. We've been." up shit creek but now look at us we're, we're all right and now yeah, we can show absolutely. and now we can show other people that it's fine you can sit there and have a fucking conversation and having a conversation I think it's, one coffee one whiskey at a time will fix the world i i, I think a lot <laughs> of people think like this uh is a weakness but it's, yeah. it's very very courageous i think a lot of people like um, again we're going back and we like I'd call them dinosaurs, do you know what I mean? Like, we go back a few generations and, and they're like, fucking hell, especially in, in the valleys, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You, you can't say, ah, fucking man up, what's the matter with you? Do you know what I mean? And, and unfortunately, there was that stigma around that type of stuff and nobody spoke about it then, do you know what I mean? Definitely. But um, no, like I said, with, with these positive influences, and I go back, like, to Jack and Mason and Reese, the guys as, as ambassadors for Tidy, but... They, they, they're out there, they're speaking to people about it, do you know what I mean? They, and they realise how important it is uh, as professional athletes as well, I suppose, do you know what I mean? So to to keep on top of their mental health as, as well as their physical health. So um, I think that getting these people involved and people are seeing them speak about it and, and uh, not just them guys, but there's so many people doing it as well at the moment. I think it's just um, encouraging people to come out and actually admit that could potentially have a, have some issues or, or or seek some help. Like, yeah, definitely, hundred percent, mate, hundred percent. And it, it's a it's not a quick fix. And I think that's what a lot of people think. That, for example, going straight onto antidepressants and things like that, that it's a quick fix. It's like that, and it, and you're fixed. Even going on antidepressants, it takes fucking weeks. Yeah, them to start kicking in, and. So we- to be fair, but that's why, like, it's, it's partly why one of the reasons why, again, I, I speak about activity because it, it got such a positive impact on my life. And, and I believe through no fault of their own at the moment, you go to the doctors and the doctor have got a 15 minute window to be able to yeah. um, say, right, you got this wrong with you, you got that wrong with you. These are the options you've got. And now it's like, right, doc, I feel down, I feel depressed. Yeah, no worries. I'm within. 15 minutes you're in and you're out and you've got a script in your hand and i think this it is and don't get me wrong it's like every other illness certain illnesses require medication i think but yeah. sadness and that type of stuff you might think right i'm depressed but it could be sadness it could be other yeah, yeah. other thoughts or other thoughts or feelings i suppose and and, and like we, we was talking about social inclusion and that type of stuff earlier on maybe being a part of something or being a part of a group or being a part of like mind like uh, a group of people that yeah, can share their thoughts, and feelings, people. and that type of stuff. Yeah, definitely. We'll we'll have a positive impact on their life and be able to draw you out of these out of these dark places. So, um, 100%. moving for, moving forward, now we 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 actually done one over the weekend, which was a bit naughty, I suppose. But we done a we we've had a wellness walk planned for bloody hell. It was about six weeks. Yeah, they locked us down on a Friday. And then we had a plan for a Saturday morning. So we said, ah, stuff it. We still went out. We had, I think it was 12 people there. So considering like the lockdown and obviously the weather was absolutely belting down as well. So uh, like raining in Wales, I believe you. Uh, I know. I, <laughs> so, that was a, so that was a good thing. Like if we can try and support people now in like some activity-based practices where people can get out and they can meet new people and meet new friends and feel a part of something. I think that's yeah. only going to have a positive impact moving forward, I think, but. 100% mate 100% totally agree definitely totally agree and like i said on a, on my uh, on on my documentary like i hate being reliant or i hated being reliant on little white tablets to balance me out and for me i actually genuinely needed them to balance me out as much as as much as the exercise and the cbd and and all that sort of stuff was helping because it was i was still not 100% there and then we miss it. it was like, look, you need to go and see the doctor, see what they got to say. So, all right. So I did start taking them. They balanced me out for a little bit. 
then I needed to up them a bit more because I was still fucking still mental. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm now sort of tapering myself off slowly. Um, so I'm feeling a lot more, a lot more, a lot more Sean instead of Tomo, should we say? I'm a lot more Sean, yeah. um, which is a good thing. And and going through doing my my diplomas that I did online in the live coaching depression awareness, and then getting my coaching certificate from Inner Armour um, through positive psychology, I'm now starting to realise that I can do this, this, and this instead of going straight and getting the tablet out. I can fucking yeah. sort myself out, and I'm I'm on my on my way. By no means fixed because it's a it's a long treacherous journey as 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 we both know and nowhere near fixed but on the right path and it's definitely it's, it's it's exciting and, and positive instead of yeah. scary and dangerous and negative which is good that's that's awesome to hear but but like you said you exhausted every avenue before you said right all right I'm, i could need medication do you know what i mean yeah so rather than just get straight on the tablets and like you said there's definitely call for them but and Please don't think for a second that I, yeah, and, that and I'm I, not, I, I've mentioned that a few that, times. I'm not saying that at all. Yeah, and I'm, I'm because, saying uh, I've never said like don't said, go you, on them. Never said don't go on them because if you yeah. need them, I needed them and they fucking helped. So if you need them, yeah. go and definitely. Fuck them out. I, I was petrified and, to go to the doctor because yeah, because I'm a man. And I was like, I don't yeah. want to see the doctor. Yeah. Don't want to see him or her. Don't want to see him because. What if they tell me that I need I needed fucking antidepressants and I was sending you misses? I'm yeah. like, I don't want to see them. She was like, why not? And I went, what if they tell me I really am um, like properly depressed? And it and, I, and she was like, so what? Yeah. And and I was like, taken back by it. And I was like, yeah, you've got a point there. So what? Yeah. Actually, it's a strength, but then I do. I mean, it's a yeah. courageous thing to do to be able to go to the doctors and admit you've got a problem. Do you know what I mean? It's a massive, it's a huge, huge step forward as well, especially in the right direction. Because a lot of us we deny it to ourselves, don't we, for so long? Yeah. It's like, oh, oh, I did for right. ages. I'll be all right. It, it'll, it'll go away. It'll go away. When actually it's yeah. just getting worse. And, so and I think you, that when the pen the, drops, the, you pull the standard. I'm fine out. No, I'm fine. What are you want about? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, because you don't want to. You don't want. As a, as a man, as two men speaking, you don't want to be, you don't want to say, look, no, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling shit. Yeah. You, you don't want to say to your missus and Definitely. the kids, look, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm not feeling good. I, I need a kutch. <laughs> you want, you, you're yeah. all like, no, I'm fine. Like my I'm missus, not deal with it. My, I, my, my missus is safe to me now. She say, I think you better go and have a run, love. <laughs> yeah, she, she she can just. Do you know I mean she? They, they know what's better they know, than themselves. Mate. Sometimes they know. Me, do you know what I mean? They, yeah, definitely. So she can pick up on. She she's picking up on stuff. Do you know what I mean? Before it's even happening. So she's like, yeah. Do me a favor. I've checked your train. Check your trainers on. Go and have half hour. Like, yeah. So, uh, so, yeah. But, but like you said, but in regards to yeah, my missus in regards is very to coping similar. strategies and that type of stuff. Like when so, I um, when I started she, um, tapering myself off the um, off the antidepressants, she was. She'd noticed there's a there was a little change in myself, like the snappiness was starting to come back. I was I was being snappy again. Yeah. And she was like, You're either not taking your pills or you've gone down a level. <laughs> and I'm like, Yeah. <laughs> She's like, stop <laughs> snapping at everyone. It's like, oh yeah, all right, I'll uh I'll sort that out, don't worry. And then yeah, they, they see it straight away, but don't they? Any little, any subtle changes or any little changes, but they notice, don't they? And I think yeah. as long as we can, as long as we can take it on the chin, when they just say, "Actually, love," they're being a bit of a dick. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And sometimes, sometimes I need, I need that. Do you know what I mean? I need, I need for my missus to say, "Actually, love," you've been a bit of a knob today. Like, do yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> I think myself, well, actually, when you reflect on it, you say, "Actually, I am being a little bit snappy, or I'm being yeah, a little yeah. bit abrupt, or whatever." Do you know what I mean? Because unconsciously, sometimes we we tend to fall into that trap, don't we? Definitely. But uh, so she just said to me, "Now fucking give me a clip across the ear, chuck your trainers <laughs> on, and get out, <laughs> get out, get out." She's like, "Matt, like, get out of the house. <laughs> Why? Why have I got to go out of the house? Because you are not tidy, but now get out." <laughs> I know. I, I know. She just say that to me sometimes. Mind if I just say something to her or, or someone? She just say, "That's not very tidy, but is it?" 
<laughs> oh, I fucking love that. Uh, I can't say a lot. I, I can't say a lot back to that. I just say, I fair enough. Yeah, fair she place. Yeah. She fucking <laughs> tucked me up. <laughs> she knows, mate. She knows. You tend yeah, to find... do work for sure. Like, you tend to find that they're... They're the stronger ones in the relationship. Well, I've, I've found anyway. Like, my missus is the absolute rock in it. Is as sensitive and as as gentle as she is, she is the strongest, stronger in 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 so many different ways. Like the amount of um, advice she gives other people, the amount of um, like emotion that people then dump onto her, and then she's sort of just carrying that on. Then she's got a fucking husband who's snappy and 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 angry all the time and and depressed and got ptsd and she's got that on top of that and then it's like hang on a minute who's who's looking after you and it's like <laughs> i know i know come well. on come and come and have a little cutch come and tell me about your problems which yeah, in fairness i need to do i need to do that more often like yeah I, to be honest though but i think we're all guilty aren't we yeah do you know what i mean we let's be honest that they, they work in the they run in the house. They, you know what I mean? She's paying Taking the bills for granted, or whatever quite, she's doing. Quite a because, few times. Like, oh, definitely. But I, I always, she, um, she's certain, she always thinks I'm joking, but I always go back to the, um, to a, a quote from Gavin and Stacey. He's like, are you all right? And she's like, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> and he's there going, no, in here, in here. And she's like, <laughs> and then she starts giggling and she's like, cause she loves it. She loves everything Welsh. She wishes she was Welsh. And, um, yeah, I, she starts giggling and she goes, no, I'm fine. He's like, all right, well, you know where I am if you need to fucking unload your emotions yeah, on me. definitely. But, and like you said, right, so, 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 some days I'd forget and, and she, she might like, have a frown on or whatever. I'd say, what's the matter, but? And, oh, nothing, nothing. And, and I'd forget, like, how much they take on. Do you know what I mean? They're yeah. keeping the family together, basically. And they do you know what I mean? Well, like you said, well, well, we are on the chat or you were sat in the shed. She's in the house with four kids, and the same with my. I got two young boys myself. Do you know what I mean? They're running after the kids. They, they're doing yeah. the ironing. They're doing the washing. They're keeping the house in order. They, do you know what I mean? They super women. Like I don't know how they do it to be honest, but yeah, I think fair, it's, fair uh, play to them. I don't. I, I, I don't know where I'd be without mine. They're gonna be fair. Yeah, and I agreed. Like, well, in fact, all the the three ladies that I got in my house, I don't know where I'd be. Like. I mentioned it. I mentioned <laughs> it fucking loads of times three <laughs> on the on the podcast and in the documentary. Like my oldest was the one that fucking picked me up off the floor, basically in in the kitchen. Told me that she loved yeah. me and everything was going to be all right. It was her, like uh, nine years old, or she would have been eight years old then. Like, yeah, I'm the, I'm the I'm the one that's supposed to hide her from that sort of stuff. And yeah. there she was in all her that's... in all her glory. But that's, that, that again, no, but it is a reflection on how good a parent you are and your wife must be. Do you know what I mean? For her to do something so thoughtful and so courageous at I've, nine years of age. Do you know what I mean? You know, it is both, a reflection both, on you, on you as a daughters, parent, isn't it? Both my daughters are the kindest, sweetest little angels you'd ever meet. Like the amount of times we've um, gone to parents' evening for, for my eldest, for example, and then like, Oh, is she's just lovely. She's just a lovely girl. Like anytime there's a new new student that comes in, my, my eldest is there straight away, hand up. I'll I'll look after her or him. He's like that. I've done Pretty something funny. right there. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's mainly definitely. the missus. The missus is done done right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> definitely, all but you're definitely doing something uh, doing something right when they when they doing our type of stuff in it. Something to be yeah. proud of, but that is for sure, definitely. Yeah, it's it's definitely. Yeah, it's, it's I've got two it's... two myself, but he just gone the, the oldest one who just gone to the hospital now. He've uh, he broke his arm back a few weeks ago, so he's yeah. he's mad for his mountain. He's mad for his mountain biking and that type oh, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. He is so he no he, fear. He had a he had a big crash a couple of weeks ago and broke his arm. So he've uh, he have not long gone back to the hospital he, he got his fingers crossed now he's on his cast off so he's so like dad i'm going straight out in. going straight on the bike yeah i know he's like i can't wait to get back up on our jump dad he said i'm gonna smash it he's like all right old bud. <laughs> like, back all right bud. you're probably gonna smash yourself <laughs> but yeah all right, <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> so 
if he comes back and you've got another cast on, but God help it, yeah, he'll be like, yeah, Christian World War II wanna give, well. doesn't want to give himself too, too high hopes for it to be not on us. That's no. the worst, yeah. So hopefully, he'll uh, he, he'll be coming home now with it off with a bit of luck. Bit of yeah. peace sent for me and the missus because he, he hasn't been able to get out on the bike or whatever. Do you know what I mean? You've been out Driving for a couple mad, of runs with me and stuff, yeah. <laughs> he's uh, he's been out for a couple of runs with me and stuff, but uh. He's one of them kids that need to, need to be out doing stuff. Do you know what I mean? So uh, hopefully, yeah. but he'll be coming home with a cast off, and uh, we can get back to a bit of normality here. Oh, happy days, happy days. My uh, my youngest has got her first her first trial at, at gymnastics tonight, and she is ah, cool. she is properly nervous. Bless her, because because <laughs> we can't we can't go in and watch now because obviously this the restrictions and that. So she's like. So no, no one's right. going to watch me. It's like, no, you're just going to go in. You're going to give it a try. It's a trial. You don't have to do it if you don't want to do it. She's like, oh, okay. But she's still proper nervous. My my eldest, she'd been wanting to, to do gymnastics for fucking years. And the waiting list was that long that literally last year was, or, or just, it would have been last year. Uh, just before Christmas, I think. Anyway, um, yeah, it took them ages to get her in, and now she's in, and she's she's loving it. She's we we got her a few um, little gymnasticy bits for for the house, like she's got a couple of mats, uh, a balance beam, that sort of thing. You just see her just fucking doing ah, cartwheels in the house. It's like, chill out, will you? <laughs> get out of the way. I'm trying to play fucking FIFA. Get out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> just coming into that home, like just yeah, but he cartwheeling into the kitchen and stuff like. Yeah, she, ah, it's good though, but in there, when when they when they can get into something like that, especially at such yeah. a young age, but in there, do I mean so they can? Well, they both um, and, they both do ballet and dance, which I think my eldest isn't quite getting in. Get she's done it for since she was about fucking three, I think. So she's done it a good six years, and she I think she's now getting to the point where she's like, I don't really, it's not really. I want to. I want to do more really gymnastics, thing, sort of thing. Where the yeah, the, yeah. the the little one is doing the same thing, and she's actually she loves it. She loves everything dance. I, I've been trying to say to her, why don't you do street dance or something like that? Because she loves just dancing about the house. She does all these little fucking body pop stuff. Yeah, I was like, I have no idea where either of them get their rhythm from because it's definitely not me or the misses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know mind after a couple of whiskeys do you know what I mean you know, uh, I do up. yeah I do do throw some shapes mate I do throw some shapes <laughs> oh, I can imagine but a bit of rocket fuel in it do you know what I mean <laughs> bit yeah, of the bottom off your shoes isn't it yeah mate definitely <laughs> oh. ah, brilliant man. but I've got to say awesome mate job. I'm going to I'm going to call it a day there but I'm going to have you on again definitely because I'm going to go and rescue the missus from all these fucking kids in the house Oh, and, I appreciate but, it, buddy. but mate, an absolute privilege to have you on. Yeah, it's been a fantastic chat, and I think what you're doing with Tidy Butt is 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 fucking second to none, mate. It's fucking brilliant. Ah, brilliant. Thank you very much for having me on. It's uh, like you said, it's the first one. It's it's my first, and hopefully, first, uh, first podcast. I hope, more, I, I, I hope I was quite gentle on you. <laughs> yeah, you just you guiding, a bit of ass, just guiding it in, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you you wet me up, all right, but we might right, man. Lovely, lovely. You'll have to you'll have to start Happy your own, days. mate. You'll have to start your own. I've yeah, seen to you be had, um, seen you had a few chats with um with Jack and and what have you. I think. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, but it's it been a plan for a while. But just one of them things. I I, I, I a, haven't got around to. I I yeah. got a mic and stuff here as well, actually. But it's just. In fact, but I, I might give a message later on and just see uh, what it entails, just to get up and running, just to yeah, mate. see what I need it's, to. It's pretty, I need to get. pretty easy, mate. I'm not gonna lie to you, and mm. I think with your message and 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 the people that you've got within your little community at the minute, I think it would be it would work wonders. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, I'll uh, definitely I'll give it a crack because, like I said, yeah. it's been something I've been I've been meaning to get off the ground for a while, but. Uh, if kind of took a back seat a minute, but I do need to get on it for sure. Definitely, mate. But yeah, cheers for coming on, mate. It's been fucking brilliant. Uh, I appreciate brilliant. it, but thank you very much. Like I said, thank you very much for having me on and um, any time, but I'd be more than happy to, to jump happy back days, on maybe and, uh, and do something else together. But thank you very well, much. Any, any, way we can, any way we can support you, buddy, in any way we can, just, uh, just let us know. Happy days, mate. And... After having you on, I am actually feeling tidy, but so cheers for having, cheers for coming on. Top man.
Have an awesome day, buddy. Speak to you soon. Ta-ra, bud. Ta-ra, bud.